There are over 82,000 Star Wars-centric fan films out there in the yonder of the Internet, and George Lucas had a lot to do with that. He championed the creation of new stories by his fans. It gave birth to the EU slash Legends, and he'd want us to continue that legacy. And there we go. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. I know it takes a little while for it. To, I, I didn't anticipate that one <laughs> oh, for the for the cameras to load in, but that's okay. Um, all right. So I think uh, you know we can talk a little bit about that. I mean, Alex, you are deep into the fan film stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I and I agree 100 percent with that sentiment, right? Like he was always a big proprietor of allowing people to be creative in his yeah. own world, right? And that's something that was is very cool and very special and, and very different from most studios, if not all studios now. And um, a big sign of it is, yeah, obviously I had the chance to work on uh, most of the Buckethead stuff, right? I worked with Side Mall for his uh, um, uh, Mace Windu fan film. And then uh, with Vince, I worked with Vince on that. He composed the track for the trailer for that and that did really well. Um, and a couple others, I'm, I can't believe I'm blanking. Um, but yeah, it's it's just been great seeing like the passion and like the community willing to I guess build teams, uh, nonprofit, not making any money just for the passion of the franchise and create their own stories that they haven't yeah. seen before, right? And it's unlike any fandom out there, to be honest with you. And I think um, if there's anyone that can champion like hopefully, you know, monetizing if not uh, helping creators bring their visions to life it's you maria for sure because i i remember you reached out to me and i was just like oh another fan film okay i'll probably do this for a week and then i'll i'll be done right and then you're just like oh yeah i have this blueprint for 20 years it's like we got three shit. movies 16 yeah. days ago. Yes. i have a team you're of voice, 100 Tyler. people <laughs> and it, it's just it was just mad like the whole team the her atmosphere her love for star wars is apparent it's it's just been probably one of the greatest like fulfilling experiences so far right we're not even close to being done with the first one and it's just been so much fun so i hope that everyone has a chance to work with maria at some point in that regard for sure yeah. yes so well I, said, I, lad. yes absolutely and i i'm i'm a big proponent of 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 having uh have following in those footsteps for for george lucas i mean that is literally how the expanded universe came about right as he started to see fan creating things out there and he was like i really like this or i really like that and i really like this and i kind of want to put it all together um so i think that in that in that space uh you know i think it's it's really an, a big deal for us to try to like push that forward and like i'm involved in in some things where i'm i'm trying to get some reform on the dmca uh which is the D digital millennium copyright uh, act um and, and trying to get some reform on that because I feel like in some instances, um, you know, copyright infringement has gone a little too far. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I'm looking at King's advisor, right? I'm looking at King's advisor right now. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> we, can, me and him could spend hours talking about that kind of stuff. But I feel like, you know, that if, if companies really started to kind of work with the fans and work with what they're creating, I mean, they could have an, exuberant amount of passive income meaning they don't have to put in a dime uh, yeah. to get any kind of you know so there's got to be a way that 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 needs to be introduced to them so that they can come on board to the creator economy and really um you know start to see us as partners rather than just people who are crazy about their stuff right or and to alex's point what better place to do it than star wars we are the most active fan film community out mm -hmm. there bought like mm -hmm. hard stop bottom line and it's so fun because there are so many different mediums in which it's done. I mean, you get fan books. You get, uh, have you seen the X-Wing one? They do it in like Unreal yes. Engine. And then you've got these comic, you oh, have yeah, live action. Yes. I mean, there it's it's so broad and there's so much talent and there's so much yes. that so much that we have to give. And so just seeing you kind of working into this and saying like, hey, we can tell stories. We'll even keep it in line with your characters, but we're going to tell these stories. That's what I always think kind of like almost like vision should have been it yeah. should have been like the old star wars celebration fan film competition right I love so that. you get 12 hand-picked you know fan films from all over the internet and everywhere and put that into a series i think that's something disney should do yesterday 
yesterday, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I'm totally, I, I'm totally crazy that I, did, I forgot to mention this, but like, yeah, I was gonna say the barrier of entry is far lower than it's ever been, like ever in the history of filmmaking, right? You can do so much with so little now, um, as opposed to you know it used to be just a few people in the industry, a few people with like the expensive equipment, right? And uh, now it's like there can like for example like for I for, I can't believe I forgot to mention this but Pixel Joker's Kenobi fan film right yeah like, I got oh to God, like so like good. like when he reached out and I got to work with the guy I'm just like who are you right and then he's like oh yeah I worked on and or I worked on it's like what it's yeah like, so like there's people that like <laughs> literally are in the industry already just wanting to express their talent right and it's. Yep. It's insane. It's not just like, you know, amateurs. There's a lot of professionals out there. You're crazy. Yeah. Um, but but sorry, Zach, I cut you off. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I think that to use an analogy here, Lucasfilm could use it as like a farm league for for talent. Yeah. Like they, and I think part of working on Star Wars is being passionate about it. So if they could have a crop of people who are passionate and talented, um, that's a win-win right there. <laughs> right look at us go look at us go right like I, I i know right like and that's and that's that's a long-term vision for me is 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 not just doing star wars but also being able to help other creators bring their ideas to life and have this team build that for them you know what i mean like um that's kind of like my 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 vision as as everyone here i've talked about this is being able to have like an entire team that that somebody can you know hey i have this great especially content creators who today content creators make a lot of money some of them make a lot of money and tick these tick tiktokers and all that kind of stuff and on instagram and all that they make a lot of money and they have some really good ideas i mean not everybody's like you know super super creative but they may have a great idea that we can expand on and go yeah let's let's turn that into something something great right um so uh i think that would be fantastic for us to be able to to kind of push that forward and push that and, and get that momentum going not just around star wars but as 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 a creative team right um and 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 that would be fantastic i i, I would love that i love the idea of like a star wars vision that's all fan created right like i think that's fantastic that's a great a great great idea um but yeah and i mean you know when it comes to like music like for us here with this fan film um, you know, Lucasfilm has an 82 page document on what you can and cannot do with their, their IP and, uh, which is very detailed and very, very structured and very everything. But just the fact that they have guidelines around that is fantastic. No other franchise has that. Like, I think maybe, um, I want to say Star Trek does in some capacity, but it's very, very restrictive and very, very limited. Um, but yeah, it's it's super, super cool to be able to say, okay, well, Lucasfilm gave me the sandbox in where I can play. And I, you know, some of the things are, you have to create your original music, which Vince Cox is doing for us. And, uh, and uh, you know, you have to have your original art, which we have some of our artists in the chat uh, doing that. And you have to have original voices and you have to have, you know, there's so many different things. If you're gonna do animation, they have to keep the likenesses of the characters. You have to keep the, you know, if you're gonna do live action, you can't do live action with existing characters because they like to keep the likeness you know they want you to have shape. your own studio you can yeah. play in the universe but you got to be your own studio 100%. <laughs> you gotta have your own studio well yeah no i mean i i think that there's i mean there's this the, the, the kid that um i don't know if you've heard about this probably you've heard of this alex this is 17 year old high schooler who took his family and did a like a mandalorian fan film which was like Ooh, 15 i voiced for it i did voiced you, for you it did that? Did you i voiced it? i voiced boba i voiced mando and i voiced uh one of the sith that he fights at the end nice, oh, is, nice. is it the one is it the live action one yeah yeah, and yeah the did, really cool live action one right it's, he did it for like 3200 bucks i was like this is fantastic is <laughs> like, that the the one where he's on the desert planet the mandalorian one where he's on the desert planet oh, that was an incredible fan is it film. Kend kendrick films is yeah, that yes. yeah, that one is Brad so Kendrick, good, yeah. dude. That one yeah. is so And I'm good. like, this kid is 17. Can't we hire him? <laughs> he can direct the next Star Wars. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> you know? So uh, I love that. 